What's up, everyone? I just wanted to bring you something quick. I was talking with my boy, my boy Albert. And we were talking about how there's so many different ideas and methods and secrets and all this crap to getting to your goal, to getting to gaining some more muscle, to get to uh, get lean and, and lose fat and, and do all these things, all these weight loss programs and all that garbage. It's kind of like commuting to work. Those of you who commute to work. So you can do all these gimmick diets, gimmick workouts, these cult workout things, and all this stuff to try to get, you know, I'm going to do cardio during my workout and live, and, okay, <clears throat> to get to my goal. Now, if you're already at a certain level and you're already at a goal, and you want to try some of these things out and see how it changes your body because you're so fine-tuned, by all means do it. If you're not anywhere near your goal, stay away from those things because it's like, it's like commuting to work. You can do all these gimmicks. You can do all these things. It's like, But that would be like walking to work or bicycling to work. It's going to take you a lot longer to get there than it would if you just drove a car. It's going to take you a lot longer and waste a lot more time and energy than if you were just to drive a car. So what is your car? Your car is a basic diet. Basic outline of all the food groups you're getting in um, at the right times. You know, a basic workout plan, splitting weights from your cardio. There's so many benefits to doing that. I don't know why people don't do that. Split your weights from your cardio. Your metabolic processes are different during those times. Take advantage of that because your body wants to take advantage of that when you do those things. And especially when you're eating good, it, all that comes together and makes a great picture and gives you great results. So drive a car. Stop doing all the gimmicks. Stop you know, riding a unicycle to work and get, on, get in your car and go. Now, for me and my boys, we hop on two wheels. We're weaving through traffic. Why? Because we've been doing this thing a while. We have no fear when it comes to what to try and what to do or I'm going to fail on this set in the gym or I'm going to go hungry for this amount of time, you know, for these couple days because I'm trying to get to this goal. We've been doing this a while. We're on the bikes, man. We're two-wheeling, weaving through traffic. We ain't stuck in traffic because in the car, still in your commute to work, you're going to be stuck in traffic. You're going to have slow times where you maybe had a little too much cheap meal or or... You know, you messed up, you fell off the you fell off the path for a little bit there, but guess what? Traffic gonna keep on moving eventually. It's gonna break up and you're gonna keep on coasting, man. So you decide what you wanna do. How do you wanna get to work? How do you wanna get to your goal? You wanna ride a unicycle? You wanna be walking with your thumb out, asking everybody, how can I get a car? Can I get a ride? Get quit asking for a ride and just get your own car, man. Just start doing it. Stop trying. Start doing. No excuses. Or you want to ride a car. Or you want to be hardcore, you want to ride a motorbike. Get like us. Ride a motorcycle. Get in a saddle behind two wheels. Wind blowing your hair, nothing like it. So you decide how you want to get to your goal. But I'm telling you from experience, the gimmicks, they don't work. There ain't no secret to it. There's nothing to it but to do it. You know that. All right. I'm going to bed now. I'm tired. I'm hot. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.